So to start this tutorial off, we're going to go to the ModDB page for Stalker Anomaly. Link is in the description, so you don't have to go find it. So right here, I'm just going to click download. I already downloaded. It's, it's going to be like around 8 gigabytes, as you can see here, 8.8 .8 gigabytes. It's going to take a little bit, um, but once it downloads, finishes downloading, you're going to you know, open up the zip file here, and then you're going to just extract it to wherever you want. Um, I extracted to my downloads, and then after that, then after that, I went to my uh, Steam apps, my or basically where I have my library at, and then I created a new folder. You can name it whatever you want. I just named it Stalker Call of Pripyat Anomaly because I'm pretty sure you're gonna need uh, Stalker Call of Pripyat for this. And then yeah, just paste what you extracted from the zip file into here. Do not worry if it takes a while for you to fully extract the zip file because it's you know it's a lot to uh, to extract. So it's gonna take a little bit. So just be patient. But once you have everything pasted in here in your Steam library folder, uh, I'll show you what to do next. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to select um, ourselves a executable. So I'm going to do the anomaly DX11 AVX. And we're going to go over to add game, add non-Steam game, and then we're going to click browse, and then we're going to go all files, and then we're going to paste in the directory so now we have that there I'm going to click add select programs so as you can see anomaly has been added you're going to right click go to properties you're going to go to compatibility you're going to force this and then you're going to go to do select proton 706 um, under that we're just going to click uh, play and so far this is so good what we should get next is like a black box right here we're going to get an error. This is all right. We just want to run it for what we're going to do for our next step. So we're just going to wait for this black box to tell us there's an error. Yep, hold on. Let's try and find it. <laughs> and there you go. Um, all right, so after that, after that, we're going to open up Proton Tricks. And what we're going to do next is we're going to scroll down until we see something like Shortcut Anomaly. There you go. non seam Game Shortcut Anomaly DX11 AV. So I'm going to click OK. And then you might get some errors, or not errors, but whatever these messages are. Uh, they're not going to really bother me too much. All right, so now we're greeted with this menu. You're going to click select the default line prefix, click OK. And then you're going to click install a Windows DLL or component. I'm going to click OK. And then we should get a list right here, all right now. This is what we're going to do. So we're going to scroll down to the D, cons the D section here. So we're giving all these compilers. And we're going to select D3D Compiler 43 and D3D Compiler 47. And then let's see what else we need. I'm looking at my list on my other monitor. D3D X1143. And then D3D X943. There we go, and then D3 X, D, no, D3 D X9, there you go, and then lastly D3 D X10, which I cannot find, never mind, it's right up here, I scrolled past it, so I'll put this on the, on the screen, make sure you have a checkbox, D3 D X, I meant, yeah, D3 D Compiler 43, D3 D Compiler 47, D3D X1143, D3D X943, D3D X9, and D3D X10. Make sure you have all those. And then after that, we're going to click OK. And then whatever, we're going to get some pop ups. Just going to wait till Wine uh, or Proton Tricks tells us everything's all right. So there you go. We're downloading our things here you just keep getting these pop-up messages you can just press OK it doesn't really matter too much all right and that should be it for all we have to install um, I believe we can just click uh, OK or just cancel, sorry. 
since we're done with everything. And then I believe that should be it. I think we can just click run. And it should start running now. And there you go. We have this menu here. So that's how you install it. And uh, I hope you guys found this guide to be pretty helpful. Uh, I found this to be helpful. I love Stalker. And uh, I'm so happy we can play this on Linux. Uh, this amazing mod. So uh, thanks to this person here. I'm on their mod page for you know, Stalker Anomaly. I was just following this guy's guide right here. It worked for me. From others, it worked for other people. It can even work on the Steam Deck this way. So I hope you guys like this uh, guide, or at least this video guide. Uh, but though all the credit goes to this person, uh, D Dr Raccoon. So uh, have a blessed day, guys, and uh, thank you so much for the amazing subscribers and love you have shown me.